Hi, it's Lipstick Gal. Thank you so much for watching today. I've got some new stuff that I ordered from Sephora that I wanted to try today. The one that really has me intrigued is the new concealer foundation from Marc Jacobs. This is the Cafe Marc Jacobs Extra Shot Caffeine Concealer and Foundation. Um, I have the shade Light 120. I don't know if it's the right shade. When you're ordering online, it's like, you know, just to send up a prayer that it's the right shade when it arrives. We'll see. I don't know, this, this might actually work. <laughs> I've been fairly lucky purchasing things online recently, but I'm hoping that we get a good match. I am gonna use this both as concealer and foundation today. I am not going to use a color corrector, which I normally do because I wanna see how much coverage I get from this. I thought this was 15 mils, it's actually 16 mils, which is uh, just over half an ounce. Uh, a normal size foundation, like if you were to get a foundation like this, this is usually an ounce, and you're usually getting a lot less in a concealer. One of my favorite concealers is um, only six mils or under a quarter of an ounce. It's 0 0.20 ounces, and this is the one from Bare Minerals. So this here is just a little bit more than you would get. I feel like this one and the Tarte Shape Tape are the ones that have this is the Born This Way from Too Faced. I know the Born This Way is 15 mils. This one's 16, so you're getting just a hair more, but it's a pretty penny. You know what? This guy's been bothering me, so goodbye. <laughs> this might be just a hair light, but we'll see what it blends into. I ordered a neutral tone, and I don't know how neutral this really truly is. Um, I feel like it might be just slightly yellow leaning, if it looks that way on my skin. I feel like it's too light. Well, I'm gonna bronze it up anyway, so. The one thing that I have done for years is I have used concealer only. And a lot of times people will think that I, that means only here. I actually put concealer in all of my uh, problem spots, like corners of my nose where I have some redness, um, any redness I have on my chin. Uh, I also use it, like, let's see how good it does concealing my hyperpigmentation spot. Maybe we'll just tap this out a little bit and put a little bit here. Still have some leftover melasma from the last couple of summers. My question is, is how well does this blend from like full coverage to nothing? Because I don't frequently put concealer down here. If I'm using just concealer on my face, I normally, you know, will blend in the areas that I need and, and then hopefully the product is a good enough match, <laughs> not today, um, that when I start kind of blending it down. At this point, I'm not putting product down here. I'm just blending the remnants so I don't have a real harsh line. That's always my goal. I feel like if I put another like dot over it, I could probably build it up. But I'm just gonna keep going. Need a little bit here. I have some dark spots. And you can see I have some hyperpigmentation here too. When I'm using concealer only, I try and use it mostly as like spot concealing. The, the places where I feel like my skin needs a little extra dose, but I don't want it to get too heavy. And it takes me a long time to work through foundations because I don't frequently wear them. I get most of my coverage, I got a cat hair on my nose. I get most of my coverage from concealers. And if I find one that I like, I feel like I kind of don't need a foundation. So I am just gonna tap this out to distribute it. Well, it feels really thick. I'm surprised at how thick it feels. I might have put too much on here. <laughs> it's happened before. I think this is a sort of concealer that would give you a little minute if you needed it to blend it out. It doesn't have to be like instantaneous. I'm gonna use what's left over on my finger here to kind of give myself a little more coverage where I need it. I feel like this is gonna be too light once winter is over. I don't intentionally tan, but I do pick up a little bit of color every summer. It's inevitable for me no matter how much SPF I wear. But I definitely feel like uh, the shade 120 Light is good 
it will probably be best if I used it just as concealer for a little brightness under the eye. But I feel like without co a color correction today, I I have some, you know, I feel pretty good about it. I always look a little bit more refreshed if I'm wearing a color corrector, but it says that it's full coverage. I can still see like my dark circles and I wonder if I had a slightly closer skin tone match, like just a hair darker, if it would look better. But I, I don't know if there is one that's gonna match me better. The last thing I picked up was one of the new blushes from Rare Beauty. This is one of their Stay Vulnerable Cream Blushes. I have been in love with cream blush. <gasps> Look how pretty it is. Oh my goodness, this one is nearly mauve. Oh. Oh. Hello. So I'm gonna, I'm just gonna play. Ooh, ooh, the minute you put your finger in, it feels so creamy almost like if you put your finger in coconut oil that's solid and in the warmth of your body just starts to melt it oh this will be fun i nearly got the lightest nude shade and i was like no you've got plenty of blushes that color go for something a little bit more this is blending in so nicely I'm gonna put a little bit on my lips because I need a little color it's probably not meant for this I know they have a liquid blush that comes in a little vial that you can use you know like on your cheeks and on your lips what's interesting is I feel like it's kind of drying down kind of a powdery finish. You have plenty of time to blend it. I don't feel like I'm running short on blending time. I do feel like I got it a little high right in through here and it's starting to, you know, interact with the concealer under my eyes that I did set with the smallest little smidge of powder. But I'm gonna see if I can put a little bit of um, highlight over that and we'll just kind of blend it all in. We'll just like, don't look at this. Cause like right here, can you see? All right, give me a sec. I really like this. This is a really interesting blush. What's neat about it is when you put your finger in it, I instantly feel like it's melting onto my finger. You can see there's a little bit of glow to it. But then when you start blending it into your skin, there comes a point where it feels like it's turned to powder. I, I don't know, this is an interesting, really interesting product. I like cream to powder products, but I don't know the longevity of this because I ended up putting a ColourPop Super Shock highlight over the top. And I find that when I was doing this and kind of blending it in, I felt like it kind of ate up the blush underneath. Uh, so I ended up just, you know, putting more blush over the highlight and I felt like it ended up looking really pretty because it's really kind of a nice glowy highlight blush all at the same time. And I, I don't have like blush and then highlight sitting on just the high points. It's very much a totally glowy cheek. I'm okay with that. I like that look, um, but I'm not sure. This might do better with the powder blush. I don't know. I am always concerned to use a cream product like this on top of powder, but since it kind of goes to powder anyway, maybe it would work really well. So next time I try this, I'm gonna use it over a set face, but I'll be crossing my fingers for sure. I also really like it on my lips. I love this color. This is nearly mauve. What I like about it is it's just a hair more color than my natural lip color, and it looks like a really natural, almost undone lip but just a little bit cranked up from where I am naturally with just like a lip balm on. I really like this. I don't know how it's gonna wear, uh, but I'll, I'll have to let you know. I really like the way my face turned out today. This kind of surprised me. I'm worried that this is not gonna be good like past May or June. I'm gonna pick up enough color that if I put this on, I'll look like a ghost, you know, like from here up, I'm one shade, and from here down, I'm another. <laughs> Um, but if I spend as much time indoors this summer as I did last summer, um, we'll see, we'll see. Uh, but this is, I like it. And, and so far I don't feel like it's, 
it's playing well under the eyes. I do have it very lightly powdered with a almost invisible powder. It's the Beauty Pie One Powder Wonder. I feel like it does a really good job. I did have this spot completely, completely like covered, but my cream cheek products were kind of like, no, <laughs> you can't have both. You can either have cream cheek products or you can cover up your hyperpigmentation spot. But this with um, two layers very strategically placed, you know, the first layer kind of like going everywhere and then another layer just like right on top and lightly dabbed in, I completely erased it. So I feel like you do get some really good coverage from this. Um, it is a little bit thicker than I anticipated it, but I like that it doesn't instantly dry down. I'm not one of those people who can like put something in one spot and dab it in and then put something, I wanna like swipe it everywhere I wanna go and then start to blend it in and I feel like this does that. Thank you so much for watching today. I really love trying new things. I nearly got the entire Stay Vulnerable collection, but I reminded myself that I don't wear liquid eyeshadow frequently and that I have too many glosses but this was really what was drawing me in and this intrigued me because for years you know people have foundation concealer foundation concealer and and i never did makeup that way when i first started wearing makeup in the 80s there wasn't a shade of foundation for me so i used my concealer you know underneath my eyes and you know on any blemishes or red redness around my nose and then i feel like if i needed to like even out my skin tone i would thin it out already with moisturizer and do that and so i feel like that's how i've been wearing makeup for the majority of my life i do wear foundation and concealer but i would say that's only like 20 25 percent of the time you know 75 percent of the time i'm wearing strategically placed concealer and then i lightly powder it but uh, i like the idea that other people are starting to come to those same ideas of you can use this for everything on your face I'll let you know what my thoughts are after I've tried these for at least a couple weeks. Thank you so much for watching today. Have an amazing day. I will see you again soon. Bye.